Waking up never sounded so good. Bear us your medical mumbo jumbo. Hello. Welcome in to Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton. Oh my. Use weather, sports, and of course, all the local info you need to start your day. Is that a real show? No, it's somebody who's making a joke. Forget it. Talk of the Town on 103.7 WTIB, 94.1 WNBU, Cable 7 in Greenville. And now, listen or watch live at WTIBFM.com. Brought to you by Massey Toyota and Kinston. Experience the Massey difference at 1-800-NEW-MASSEY and MasseyToyota.com. Everybody still awake? All right, big finish. Now, here's your host for Talk of the Town, Henry Hinton. Hey now, it's Thursday, second hour. Welcome in, everybody. Talk of the Town. Nice to have you here. Trent McGee, Heather King in the studio live with me this morning, and uh, lots of friends stopping by this morning to talk about different things. Tomorrow's Freeboot Friday. It's homecoming weekend. You know who's playing at Freeboot this weekend? Who the band is? None other than our own Mark Paschal and Jupiter Jones. Mark is down the hall right now on the morning show on WNCT. So during the news break, I went in there and I said, "Hey, we're going to be talking about uh, we're going to be talking about uh, Free Boot Friday uh, next hour. And if you know if you got time, you know while you guys are in a long song or something, stop in and we'll talk about what your playlist is going to be tomorrow night for Jup- for Jupiter Jones because I'm coming down to watch you guys play." And he said, do you have any requests? I said, yeah, uh, you guys do any Jackson Brown? And he went, mm, no. <laughs> I said, uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash? He went, yeah. He said, I think you're out of our demo. <laughs> I thought that was extremely cruel and rude to say to your boss. Yo. What do you think about that? Mm. I got a demo for you, Pascal. <laughs> How about this demo right here? <laughs> Watch this demo. <laughs> so I think he's going to stop by in a minute. But they 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 have uh, if you've never heard Jupiter Jones oh, before, great band. Love them. And Kelly with the violin or the fiddle, outstanding. And she actually does the Devil Went Down to Georgia as good as Charlie Daniels. Does she not? She does. She's good. Yeah, she, she is does awesome. It. They are a great band. That's yeah. perfect for homecoming. So mm-hmm. uh, if you've never heard Jupiter Jones and Mark Pascal, who is part of the morning show next door. For the moment, <laughs> <laughs> on one hundred seven point. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm like, give me a little Southern Cross, some, you know, a little something from my era. You know, your lo- my love is tied to you, tied with a silver chain. <laughs> running on empty, running into the sun, but I'm running behind. Come on, none of that. No, that would work for me. Anybody? I like, I like Jackson Brown. No, Jackson. Nobody. Like Jackson Brown. Nobody. We're on your team, Henry. Don't fire me. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Eight minutes after, we were talking about what Mike Shashevsky said about Trump yesterday. What, what precipitated this, McGee? Why did was, why was Shashevsky talking about Trump yesterday? Uh, I, I don't know why it came up. I've got this audio. I did, I did read the comments, but I'm having to play it off the News and Observer website. I don't know if it's going to play. Let's see if we can get it to play. So Shashevsky's making a speech at the Durham Sports Club yesterday at Crowsdale Country Club in Durham. And he said this. In our world. Yeah, it's, I don't know if it's going to play. Hang on. What the heck? I want to play, McGee. See, the, the audio, th- this is what happens when you try to play audio off of a newspaper website. Buffer. We're usually a cop. It's trying to play. Basically, what he's saying is everyone is accountable to somebody, but except for Trump. Trump thinks he's not accountable to anybody. And, uh, and of course, we only get to vote on pre- for president every four years, and that's when we can hold him accountable. That was Krzyzewski yesterday. And I and I have I have no context to share. I don't know why he brought that up. Uh, looking at this article here, he was let's see. Um, he, he was speaking about how the NCAA's authority structure affects college basketball. He was explaining his accountability to university officials before mentioning Trump. What's that got to do with Trump? I don't I don't know. I don't really understand that. But he is unaffiliated. I think Trump does. So the record show. You know, I give Trump a hard time, but I mean, Trump takes it. He, he, I, I do believe that he 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 um, 
the media is not fair to him. It's like this thing, you know, about what he said to the uh, to, to the mother of the, the fall, fallen soldier. Mm-hmm. Was it the widow or the mother? Oh, I thought it was the widow. Excuse Maybe it me. was. Um, he he made the comment, you know, that um, he he paid the ultimate price. Widow. He he, yeah. he knew what he had. Right now at Cole's home sale. Jeez. All right, turn this down. <laughs> Now, now it's played. We don't need the Coles commercial. So, so he, he made a comment that, uh, that he knew what he signed up for. And now the father is coming out and saying, well, you know what? It, it was just in the way it was received. I, I think they're making a big deal out of that. I mean, you could, here, if you think about saying that, you could say it as though you're saying it in a very compassionate way, as if to say he's a great man. He knew what he was signing up for when he was when he was uh, when he went over there. Uh, or you could you could take it the way that the media is trying to spin it now and saying, "Well, he knew what he was signing up for." I mean, I can't imagine Trump saying that to uh, uh, the, the the wife of a, a soldier who just been killed. I don't. I mean, I I think that he says things sometimes that are that are stupid and outrageous. But I I, I don't see him being not compassionate in that situation. And so this is the other thing. He sent a $25,000 personal check to the family of the fallen soldier the same day that the Washington Post made a big deal out of how the father had said, well, he said he was going to send me a check for $25,000, but he didn't do it. The check was in the mail when the guy made that comment, and the Washington Post reported it. But can I ask you a question? Who does that? Who sends a $25,000 check? This guy's president of the United States. I, he sent a personal $25,000 check to that family, and, and the family is spinning with the media on it? I mean, come on, man. White House officials confirmed to CNN, this is from CNN.com this morning, that the president sent a personal check on Wednesday to the family of Army Corporal Dylan Baldridge on Wednesday. Baldridge was killed in June by an Afghan police officer. According to the Washington Post, Trump called Baldri- Chris Baldridge in June, weeks after his son was killed. During the call, the Post reported Trump offered him $25,000 and said he would struck- instruct his staff to establish an online fundraising page for the family. The check has been sent, Lindsey Walters, White House spokesman, told CNN on Wednesday. It's disgusting that the media is taking something that should be recognized as, as a generous gesture made privately by the president and using it to advance the media's biased agenda. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders told CNN it was a personal check written from President Trump. The timing of Trump's donation raises questions because the Post reported Wednesday that the White House officially initially declined to discuss the events in detail, but then later told them that the check had been sent. Baldrige told the Post of his conversation with President Trump, I'm going to write you a check out of my personal account for $25,000. I couldn't believe he was saying that, and I wish I had it recorded because the man did say this. He said, no other president has done something like this, but I'm going to do it. A White House spokesperson speaking on background said the check has been in the pipeline since the president's conversation with the father. The president has personally followed up several times to ensure the check was being sent. As stated earlier, the check has been sent. So now the question is, did they, you know, did this, did the check get sent because the Washington Post reported it? And when was the check written? And was it really in the mail at the time that it was reported and that kind of thing? So I don't know e- the answer. Either way, that's going to open up, you know, Pandora's box in the sense. I mean, people are going to start saying, hey, write me a check. Well, why, did, why didn't I get a check? Yeah. I mean, that's, I, I, I think he, the deed's he great. He the gesture's win. phenomenal. But Here's yeah. what a lot of people wish. Not that he would write them a check, but that he would keep them from having to write a check to Blue Cross Blue Shield. Yeah. Have you seen the increases that are coming out from Blue Cross this year? Seen some. Yep. A half million, uh, reading from the News Observer this morning, a half million North Carolina customers who buy individual health insurance from Blue Cross Blue Shield will pay an average rate increase of 14.1% starting in January. Mm-hmm. 
The new rates were approved last month by the Department of Insurance for Blue Cross's individual health insurance purchased under the Affordable Care Act. Blue Cross, the state's largest health insurer, insures 502,000 people in North Carolina under the ACA. Interestingly, I had my meeting yesterday with our insurance guy, we uh, uh, Bill Jenkins over at Town Insurance, and uh, you know our insurance is actually going down this year. Uh, we 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 have more employees, and we're spreading out the cost. And you know he was telling me next year that you know we got a bunch of people turning 65, including me. It'll go down again because we're going to be on Medicare. Can you believe I'm going to be on Medicare in one year? <laughs> um, it's time for me to retire. Why am I still doing this? Yes. Can you explain this to me again? Actually, better off, explain it to my son why I'm still doing this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get with Hank on that one. Yeah. I should be. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a fair conversation yeah, for does. Trent and Hank to have. <laughs> Um, well, Ken Henry's getting up there in age. Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's talk about the future. Time to put about. him out to pasture. You know, he's yeah. forgetting things. Yeah, he's, exactly. He's, shut drool, up, he's drooling again. <laughs> you know, his mind is all over the place. McGee, shut up. Can't Nobody think of the Everyone's getting fired today. <laughs> <laughs> Pascal. Pascal. Um, <laughs> North Carolina is the eleventh most competitive state in the country for taxes. The Tax Foundation released its 2018 State Business Tax Climate Index Tuesday. North Carolina's overall ranking is unchanged from last year. The state comes in number 11. However, we're third in the country as well as sixth in unemployment insurance taxes. We're third in the country for corporate taxes. Up from 15th last year, but the state ranked 20th in sales taxes, 32nd in property taxes, the Tax Foundation said on a news release that it ranks states based on their tax structure, not their tax burden. States with complex tax codes that distort business decisions do poorly, while states with transparent, neutral, fair tax codes score well. Um, Patrick McHugh of the left-leaning North Carolina Budget and Tax Center, that's a nice way of putting the North Carolina Budget and Tax Center. Left-leaning would be a nice way to describe them. He cautioned that the rankings uh, does not actually tell us much about how the economy is doing. Well, that's true, Patrick, because we had uh, eight years of Obama and uh, about a half a percent growth every year. This ranking does not appear to give any thought whatsoever to whether revenue is adequate to pay for goods and services. Oh, for crying out loud. Here we go with that again. Raise taxes. By the way, I, I caught NC Spin on Cable 7 last night. My wife and I went out to my grandson's ba a football game. We came back. She had on Cable 7, and uh, it, uh, uh, I saw myself on NC Spin. I had not seen it yet. And I just want, you know, I told Debbie, I said, here's the thing. Let's pour a glass of wine and do the drinking game. Every time Chris Fitzsimon says outrageous, <laughs> let's take a sip. Yeah. No, you didn't, did you? And we'll be drunk by 9 o'clock. <laughs> you would be drinking a half hour. I, I, you, watch NC Spin and count the number of times that that Chris Fitzsimons said, it, it, and, and it's outrageous. Or it's unbelievable. Uh, it's unbelievable or it's him. outrageous. That's funny. I got to get Chris on the show. I love Chris personally. Chris and I are good friends, have been since his WITN days. But, I mean, you know, it's like when you're a paid hack for the left, everything that the Republicans are doing is outrageous. <laughs> it's outrageous. <laughs> Honey, quick, take a sip. <laughs> <laughs> Do that. Watch NC Spin and play the drinking game. And I promise you, you'll have a good buzz by the end of the show. <laughs> 18, <laughs> 18 minutes after 8, let's get a break here. We're coming back. We're going to talk about Free Boot Friday. We're going to give you the restaurants involved in Restaurant Day again and more talk of the town. Heather's got news headlines next. Be right back. The 2018s are coming. That means all 2017s must go. It's Greenville Toyota's price drop. Get 2017 Corollas, only $14,495. 2017 Camrys, just $15,999. Hurry in and save today during Greenville Toyota's price drop. Some pretty incredible things were born in the Carolinas, like barbecue. Born right here, baby. First in flight. Maybe you've heard of it. Mini golf. Boom. And a few of my favorites, the Panthers 
and Pepsi. Born in the Carolinas. The touchdown dance. Perfected in the Carolinas. U.S. Cellular put towers where most others don't. So people can schedule a chiropractor visit out here. Or catch the game live way over here. Isn't that what you pay for? A stronger signal in the middle of anywhere. Visit Real Wireless, your local U.S. Cellular authorized agent in Ohoski, Williamston, and Windsor for the best deals in wireless and great service on a network that works in the middle of anywhere. All 2017 inventory must go here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. This is commercial truck season. Come see our great lineup of Ram commercial vehicles for all your work needs. Check out the Ram 2500, Ram 3500 with cab and chassis, Ram 4500 and 5500. Also Ram Promaster and Ram Promaster City. All 2017 Rams must go during Ram Power Day. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. My prescription refills. My son's shot records. My doctor's appointments. My lab results. My parents' care. My chart. Vident My Chart. Vident My Chart is the secure online patient portal that lets you manage your health your way. Visit VidentMyChart.com or call 1 855 MyVident to learn how you can sign up. The 2018s are coming. That means all 2017s must go. It's Greenville Toyota's price drop. Get 2017 Corollas, only $14,495. 2017 Camrys, just $15,999. Hurry in and save today during Greenville Toyota's price drop. Man, doing that story about uh, the uh, increased rates for Blue Cross Blue Shield, people started coming out of the woodwork and telling me about their increases. I got a text here from a friend who said his family's going from $153 a month to $725 a month. That's more than the 14% in that article we just read. Uh, another friend of mine says his wife and him are going from 1400 to 2900 that's crazy. Uh, and I was told, I, I think particularly those people who are on the Obamacare. So you have to remember Obamacare. People think Obamacare is coming from the government. It's not. It's coming from insurance companies. It's coming from Blue Cross Blue Shield. And if you're on an individual Obamacare policy through Blue Cross, your increase is going to be significant, I'm told. Which, again, shows you that it's not working. It's just not working. Yeah, saw so a local business owner who had a, uh, his, his uh, policy premium uh, going up from three hundred eight to eight seventy seven. Crazy. That's that's a huge increase. It's almost triple. Crazy yeah. stuff. It is. Uh, today is Restaurant Day. We're going to be talking about that. We also are going to uh, also going to be uh, talking to Meredith about Uptown Greenville and the uh, big uh, kickoff to Homecoming Weekend of Free Boot Friday tomorrow with the. Very popular band, Jupiter Jones, featuring Mark Pascal, who may stop in for a moment as well. Uh, in fact, we got to kind of go ahead and get on with things here. So let's uh, let's do our our uh, let's do our our update here from uh, WITN. Heather King is in the studio. Let's do that first and get our news update. Good morning, Heather. Good morning, Henry, and good morning, everyone. One-stop early voting begins in several counties across Eastern Carolina today, meaning voters can both register to vote and cast their ballots at the same time. 
Residents in Carteret and Craven counties got a head start at 8 a.m. this morning with the office opening there. And in Pitt and Onslow County, residents can start voting at 9 a.m. You can show up to whatever open site is most convenient to you. If you do want to vote on Election Day, which is November 7th, you will have to show up at your assigned precinct in your county. Police are warning people to use caution after a good Samaritan was robbed while stopping to help someone. Kinston police say Joseph Herring was driving in the area of McDaniels and East Shine Streets early Wednesday morning when he became the victim of a criminal scheme. After getting out of his car to help a man who was lying on the side of the road, Herring found himself looking into the barrel of a gun when a robber came up from behind, taking cash before he and the man lying on the ground took off running towards the Simon Bright housing complex. Now to $2,000 worth of used tires and rims stolen from a local business. Police said the crime happened two weeks ago at Jones Tire and Service Center in Kinston on Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. $1,600 worth of used tires and $800 worth of rims were stolen. Anyone with information should contact Kinston Police or Crime Stoppers. Well, some business owners are unhappy with the closing of an intersection in Pitt County. For years, the intersection of Highway 11 and Hanrahan Road has been the scene of collisions, some that have been deadly. To remedy the problem, the DOT is permanently closing the intersection. Drivers will be able to make a U-turn further down the road. Some business owners and others who do business along that stretch of highway aren't happy with the change, including Donald King of King Produce, saying, quote, it really, really hurts, unquote. Cash and Carry convenience store owner Habash Shaladin says his business has dwindled 40% since September 1st since the DOT made the change. DOT engineer Sarah Lentine says this new configuration is a safer alternative after the community voiced concerns about the intersection. Construction is underway at a new education center in the east. A ceremony is being held today to mark the construction of the Sturgeon City Environmental Education Center at 50 Court Street in Jacksonville. The $2.9 million 11,000 square foot facility will feature three classrooms to expand teaching at the nonprofit, which focuses on being good stewards of the new river. The classrooms are estimated to fit a total of 453 students. The ceremony to mark construction will begin at 1130 this morning. Those are your WITN News headlines. Henry, back to you. All right, let's let's uh, let's go to McGee. McGee, you're going to do sports? You're going to do weather? You're going to do both? Yeah, what are you going to do? Both, man. Come on, man. You got your choice. Come what are you going to do? Uh, I'll do sports. Let's check, let's check our sports update. Here's McGee on sports. All right, Yankees beat the Astros 5 to nothing on Wednesday night for a 3-2 lead in the AL Championship Series. The teams head back to Houston for Game 6 on Friday night. New York now one win away from the World Series. Cubs nip the Dodgers 3-2 to avoid being swept in the National League Championship Series. Dodgers lead the series three games to one. Game 5 is tonight in Chicago. The American Athletic Conference is on display tonight on ESPN as number 25 Memphis will take on Houston. Tigers are 5-1, and one, Cougars 4-2, and two, and Houston favoring that game by three. Kickoff is set for 8 o'clock in that one. NFL tonight, the 5-1 and one Chiefs on the road at the 2-4 four, and four Raiders. Kickoff set for 8-25. And D.H. Conley swept J.H. Rose Wednesday night to win the Eastern Carolina 4-A, 3-A tournament title. Elena Thomas led the way for the Vikings with 18 kills. Conley now 20-2 and two on the season. And high school football tomorrow night. Um, Big game tomorrow night. On 94-3, we've got uh, yes. Rose and Conley. Yep, at Conley. Rose-Conley game. 7 o'clock. Going to be some fireworks up in here. All right, thank you, McGee. a lot of points. Let's check our weather brought to you this morning by Ottavola Restaurant. Sunny and uh, 75 today. We're looking for clear and 45 tonight. And uh, then on Friday, Sunshine 77. Just going to be an absolutely gorgeous weekend. This might be the best weekend of the year. Absolutely, and, and it's homecoming weekend, too. You could take the kids down to the homecoming parade on Friday morning. It's going to be neat. Uh, Friday night, clear in 49. Game day, Saturday, sunshine, 78. Perfect for tailgating. Get out there and enjoy the great October weather. 7 o'clock kickoff. We got all sorts of uh, programming, including uh, Steve Logan's show on um, Saturday morning from 10 to noon on 94.3. We got our pregame shows on uh, 103.7. Uh, I'm sorry, on 107.9. And 94.3. And our pirate partners this year always uh, Fantastic Sam's, First National Bank, Transportation Impact, and Carib Sea Restaurant of Emerald Isle, all of our pirate partners. And then after the game, our Choose Pews, Pews Tire Service uh, post game show, you can call in and talk about a pirate win over BYNU. All three of them. Didn't Harry say he was going to take you and I to Carib Sea Restaurant? Remember that? I'll do that. Is that you? I do. I'll yeah. take yeah. you to Carib I don't know if it was me or not, but yeah, I'm on board. I will do that. I yeah. will do that. Y'all schedule it. I'll pay. I'd I mean, love to that. do that. I'd love to do that. Yeah, and absolutely. 
You can't bring your wives or your children, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, I was, it's, we're on a budget here. <laughs> uh, another uh, friend of mine just uh, said his family coverage on Blue Cross going from nine eighty three to nineteen twenty eight a month. That's a twelve thousand dollars a year. How do you, how can you I afford that? I can't. That. I can't imagine. Small business people getting hit in this thing, man. It's doing away with this high deductible HSA plan and going to the next lowest plan, and it's a, it's a thousand more dollars a month for family coverage. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. This got to start. Look, and the did did we say when Obamacare was coming in that there's no such thing as free? I mean, you you know, a guy like that, twelve thousand more a year, small business guy. Because other people don't have insurance, and he's having to subsidize it. That's just the way it is. There's no other way around it. I don't care how you look at it. That's what's happening. News, weather, and sports, a service this morning of Ah Tavola Restaurant, where I ate yesterday at the bar and had the salad trio for lunch. Can't beat it. I had the fruit salad. I had the chicken salad. I had the Caesar salad. Usually I go with the broccoli salad. Broccoli I was not in the mood. I was not in the mood for broccoli yesterday, but a salad trio is a great uh, and they got great lunches. Uh, anything you want, great, great casual lunches, family meals. A lot of times my wife and I will go in and just get one of the meals out of the refrigerator and take it home and pop it in the micro. Or actually, not the microwave. She puts it in the oven. But uh, Atavola specializes in the creative use of fresh ingredients, seasonal menu items, fun culinary creations. Give yourself a treat. Visit Atavola today. They're, they're open for lunch. And they're open the every second Wednesday of every month for their free wine tastings. Atavola on Red Banks Road in Greenville. There you go. 831. Going to get a break in. Coming back with more. Heather, thank you for being here. You're welcome. Uh, Going to come back and talk about Restaurant Day and Otto Volders participating. Be one of the restaurants you can go visit today. We'll be right back with uh, Alan Mendenhall from the Disabled American Veterans here in Pitt County. The 2018s are coming. That means all 2017s must go. It's Greenville Toyota's price truck. Get 2017 Corollas, only $14,495. 2017 Camrys, just $15,999. Hurry in and save today during Greenville Toyota's price truck. Pretty incredible things were born in the Carolinas, like barbecue. Born right here, baby. First in flight. Maybe you've heard of it. Mini golf. Boom. And a few of my favorites, the Panthers and Pepsi. Born in the Carolinas. The touchdown dance. Perfected in the Carolinas. Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. U.S. Cellular put towers where most others don't. So people can schedule a chiropractor visit out here. Or catch the game live way over here. Isn't that what you pay for? A stronger signal in the middle of anywhere. Visit Real Wireless, your local U.S. Cellular authorized agent in Ohoski, Williamston, and Windsor for the best deals in wireless and great service on a network that works in the middle of anywhere. My prescription refills. My son's shot records. My doctor's appointments. My lab results. My parents' care. My chart. Vitant My Chart. Vidant MyChart is the secure online patient portal that lets you manage your health your way. Visit VidantMyChart.com or call 1-855-MyVidant to learn how you can sign up. 
The 2018s are coming. That means all 2017s must go. It's Greenville Toyota's price drop. Get 2017 Corollas, only $14,495. 2017 Camrys, just $15,999. Hurry in and save today during Greenville Toyota's price drop. Talk of the town here on Thursday morning, October the 19th. Uh, just to follow up on that story about Blue Cross and the average 14% raise, I've been getting all these emails and texts from friends that are telling me in some cases their family coverage is going up $1,000 a month. Unbelievable. Uh, my insurance guy, uh, Bill Jenkins from Town Insurance, just uh, just texted me and said that that increase for somebody going on that, that plan could have been a grandfather plan. The Blue Cross is actually canceling the plan in North Carolina that a grandfather prior, written prior to 2010, apparently about 50,000 members in the state that had grandfathered plans. So uh, if you're on one of those, you may be in for a shocker, a little sticker shock when you get your bill this year. It's unbelievable. Unreal. 835. Uh, today is Thursday, October 19th. We've been talking every day this week and before that even about Today being Restaurant Day in Greenville, and it is all to benefit the dis Disabled American Veterans, Pitt County Chapter 37. And the guy who put Restaurant Day together was here a couple weeks ago telling us about it, and I invited him back this morning because today's the day. We want to encourage everybody to go out and eat today. I've already done it, Alan. Alan Mendenhall <laughs> from Disabled American Veterans here in Pitt County. You, by the way, congratulations. You were very successful with this. You got like 50 restaurants participating. Oh, thank you. We actually, uh, the number's 47, but uh, we uh, started out uh, thinking about 30, and the commander, Tommy Stevenson, said, well, how about 40? I said, well, we can do 40. Then he said, how about 50? And I was like, <laughs> well. Sounds uh, like a typical military uh, operation. I don't know here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did very well with it. Well, and we I've been reading out some. Of, we'll do that again in a second, but uh, – Again, uh, for those uh, folks who missed the interview we did a couple weeks ago about this, this is all to benefit disabled American veterans uh, in this chapter here in Pitt County because you guys have been operating out of a, a, a cubby hole yes. and trying to help veterans get uh, benefits, and you need sure. a new place. And so uh, this is all about trying to, uh, uh, to, to help you guys raise some money to get a new building. The monies that we were already raising – were already committed for, for various disabled veterans support. So the idea that I presented them with was let's form a new fund and we can take no money out of funds prior to the beginning of the building fund. So we've raised a little bit of money uh, and we're kicking, this kicks off some of our uh, major fundraising right things we're going to do on a continuing basis probably for a good long time we're going to have to do this we uh have a space down at the uh joy soup kitchen on albemarle avenue however it's not designed the way we need it designed and we've realized after being at the uh veterans uh hut the vietnam veterans hut and now this that we're not going to get a space that's designed exactly the way we need it uh, what, what, do you, what do you guys do in the space? You, 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 help, okay. you help these uh, veterans here in Pitt County who come in who need assistance to get uh, government assistance, okay. that kind of thing? I'm very glad you asked me that. Okay. One thing that we're going to do tomorrow is we're having a uh, stand down. And this is where veterans can come and get medical assistance on the spot and dental assistance. They can get some clothes. They can get some, uh, you know, food, canned food and stuff to take with them. Uh, and that's primarily designed for our homeless veterans, which we know there's over 100 of those homeless disabled veterans in the county. Wow. And uh, how, how many total uh, disabled American veterans are served through this chapter here in Pitt County? 634. Wow. I think that's I think that's the number, right? It, but it's over six hundred. I know that. So so uh, let's talk about today. I don't want to run out of time. Let's talk about what you're doing today and how people can help. They can help by going out to eat. That's very simple. Help the veterans, disabled American veterans, uh, building fund by going out and having a meal at the regular price at a restaurant. Let's say you like breakfast. And I already did this this morning at Harvey's. 
Yep. There you go. You <laughs> did Harvey's. And let's go down the list quickly. We've got Egg Yolk Cafe. We've got Harvey's. Bojangles. All the uh, Bojangles those locations. Delicious biscuits. Yeah. And we come over here and. Waffle Let's, House? Waffle House, yes. Uh, how can we get Waffle House? And Bo I'm getting all, ready. All, all locations of Waffle House. Yes, all locations. And uh, we also have uh, the Seahorse, and I'm going to go over there and, and meet our commander, Tommy Stevenson, and we're going to start off visiting these places today. Yeah. We're going to have a busy day riding around all these places. Right. And uh, – Feel like oh, and Bagel Man. Oh, can't forget our fellow John Grillo. Yeah, Grillo. Over, over Bagel oh, Man. Oh, Fire, fire Bagel Tower Man right. guy. All right, we, we're gonna run out of time. So hit, right. you want to hit them all? Go ahead and hit the restaurants that people can have lunch all right, or dinner today. Let's say you enjoy pizza. We've got Marabella's, very good pizza, and we got Michelangelo, very good pizza. Let's say you like fried chicken. We've got Bojangles. We've got KFC, and you can get something over at Egg Yolk Cafe. And uh, I'm probably forgetting somebody there. But, uh, okay, let's say you like, uh, oh, you can get some fried chicken at Moore's, and you can get some chicken at Sam Jones. Of course, known for barbecue. Right. Now, okay, barbecue. We've got Moore's. We've got Sam Jones. And we've got Bee's Barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I was excited about getting Bee's Barbecue. They're a very unique restaurant. Out on Highway 33, and they're so unique they named the road after them, right beside them. This barbecue road. So, <laughs> All right, finish, the, finish the list, Alan. Let's go. Let's All go. Right, finish the Chinese. list. Let's go. We're running Chinese. out of time. All right, here we go. Chinese. <laughs> we have got oh G and K Cafe for breakfast down our fried chicken. We got Chinese Ming Dynasty, China Ten, and Great Wall Two. Yeah. And uh, sports bars. We've got Kickback Jacks. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, don't let's not forget Taco Bell, owned by the same company, Taco Bell and KFC, and they stepped up for all locations. Right. Coastal Plains, Coastal yep. Plains restaurants. Uh, yeah. Ribera, Berry, uh, La Ribera. La Ribera. Hey, very yeah. good. <laughs> Glad you can speak Spanish. Uh, is uh one of our is our Mexican restaurant? I think you missed Moe's, Dixie Queen. I didn't hear you mention oh, pop, pop, oh gosh, pops, go down pops, for the cheeseburgers, winning pops burgers. Let's see, uh, you didn't mention Highway 55, Highway 55 locations. Highway 55 uh, challenged uh, uh, pops burgers in the recent uh, contest there for uh, good burgers. Yeah, I think and, I think uh, you got think the rest of them. Pretty much, yeah, we got China Ten in there, but anyway, Villa Verde. Oh, Villa Verde. Yeah. I have not eaten at Villa Verde. Shame on me. But every person. That when I've said Villa Verde, they have, I, I mean, it's been unanimous yeah. that they have uh, talked about how really, really good that is down there. Yeah. So uh, if you go down there, you probably won't get a seat today because everybody's going All right, now, that way. So, so oh, you, uh, one more, pizza. Cheek, chi cheese. CC's. CC's. Yeah, yeah, that place too. <laughs> Even CC's. I got them right, so, so rolling in the aisle. So down all you, here. now, now <laughs> you got, uh, is there a poster on the. Uh, Poster on the door when you go in if, to, to recognize any of the restaurants that yes, are participating. There's, a, yeah. there's a, yeah. about, a, let's see, about an 8 by 18 or 12, or 12 by 18 poster. That's uh, most of them supposed to on the door, and then you have them posted on the window. I think I think we missed Great Harvest Bread Company. I'm looking oh to see if we gosh. missed anybody Great else. Great Harvest Bread. Uh, I think the rest of them you got. Very, very good stuff down oh, there. Oh, yeah. They bring stuff in here all the time. All right. So today, Breakfast, lunch, or dinner, go to one of these places, and they're going to give you a donation of their profits today. Yes. Yes, we will. And uh, it, it varies from restaurant to restaurant. Yes, and yeah. we're looking at uh, after today, we're going to have enough money that we can start uh, uh, working on the plans for the building. Right. And, is there uh, is there a list anywhere of uh, I know it was in the newspaper yesterday. It was in but the newspaper yesterday, there there really isn't a list. There, there's That's not one a of list the things anywhere. I learned. I've got to get on social media. You next got time you, around. you you do that got that would to. be that would be good. Everybody yeah. get you a face uh, get you a Facebook page. I turned seventy and uh, <laughs> you know of course I've had no formal training on it. Well, look, they, in I, I just turned sixty four and they were laughing at me this morning because I was so enamored with Google Earth. Mm. See if I was if I was fourteen, I would have already known how to, uh, what Google Earth was all about. But I know. all right, Alan, we got to go. Thank you, man, for all what right. you're doing. One one last thing. Yep. Come out and eat and help the veterans and have a good time uh, with some great fellowship while you're eating and know that you're helping some needy guys. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Thank you for putting this together. Well done, by the way. <laughs> job well done. You did a great job with that. All right, it's uh, eight forty-four. We're going to talk about Free Boot Friday next. Stay with us.
The 2018s are coming. That means all 2017s must go. It's Greenville Toyota's price drop. Get 2017 Corollas, only $14,495. 2017 Camrys, just $15,999. Hurry in and save today during Greenville Toyota's price drop. Some pretty incredible things were born in the Carolinas. Like barbecue. Born right here, baby. First in flight. Maybe you've heard of it. Mini golf. Boom. And a few of my favorites, the Panthers and Pepsi. Born in the Carolinas. The touchdown dance. Perfected in the Carolinas. Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. U.S. Cellular put towers where most others don't. So people can schedule a chiropractor visit out here. Or catch the game live way over here. Isn't that what you pay for? A stronger signal in the middle of anywhere. Visit Real Wireless, your local U.S. Cellular authorized agent in Ohoski, Williamson, and Windsor for the best deals in wireless and great service on a network that works in the middle of anywhere. My prescription refills. My son's shot records. My doctor's appointments. My lab results. My parents' care. My chart. Vitant My Chart. Vidant MyChart is the secure online patient portal that lets you manage your health your way. Visit VidantMyChart.com or call 1-855-MYVIDANT to learn how you can sign up. The 2018s are coming. That means all 2017s must go. It's Greenville Toyota's price drop. Get 2017 Corollas, only $14,495. 2017 Camrys, just $15,999. Hurry in and save today during Greenville Toyota's price drop. And uh, we're going to kick it off tomorrow afternoon at Freeboot Friday. It's a special Freeboot around here because uh, the band tomorrow happens to uh, be Jupiter Jones, which features one of our own, Mark Paschal, who is a part of the uh, Morning Rush morning team on 107.9 WNCT. Meredith Hawk is here from Uptown Greenville to talk about that. And you were just on the air down the hall I was. with Paschal. Was he being... Um, was there any humility there, or was it just, you know, very, did he have his chest stuck out? I mean, multiple shameless plugs. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm great. I'm fantastic. Uh, I tell you, you guys uh, over the years have suffered through some bad weather for Free Boot Friday, but this year you've been pretty lucky, except for the first one. Yes, the first one, definitely. But, but the last couple have been fantastic, and tomorrow's going to be beautiful. Perfect fall day. It feels yeah. like football. Yeah. All right, tell us what's happening tomorrow. You got some special guests and you got a special band. Oh, yeah. So I'm bringing you a jam packed Freeboot Friday. It is the ECU Homecoming Freeboot Friday. We partner with ECU Homecoming on campus and we bring you a slew of programming details. We've got the men's and women's basketball team, we've got the homecoming court, we've got PD, the cheerleaders, ECU marching pirates, we've got um, Jupiter Jones will be out there, which is a local band. They're totally loved by the community, and they'll make you dance the entire night. Well, most of them are. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Pasco, of course, is uh, that's Mark's band, and oh, yeah. uh, and Kelly, who plays the fiddle, mm -hmm. she's unbelievable. It's a great band. Yeah, then you will enjoy Jupiter. If you've never seen Jupiter Jones, you will. 
enjoy, although I did ask him if they had any Jackson Brown, and he said no, which he's I think is outrageous. Down. It's outrageous. Did you say who's Jackson Brown? No, I said he's letting you down. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said who's no. <laughs> All I mean, right, and uh, and you uh, hear the basketball teams coming tomorrow. Basketball teams coming, men and women's. They'll be there to do autographs awesome. and whatnot. Um, and we've got the Greenville Utilities Commission bucket trucks. Have you ever ridden the bucket trucks, Henry? Uh, I have. I think years ago when they were out behind the mall for the kids' day thing, I They're got so in. fun. I like to call yeah. them Greenville's roller coaster. Yeah, <laughs> they swing you out and around. You think you might hit the other one, but those guys are so talented. Yeah. So uh, you can ride that, and uh, all that's free. Yes. And, uh, of course, uh, for adults, there are some adult beverages on site. Oh, yeah. And which we've is got always one of the uh, food highlights. Trucks. Food trucks are coming. Um, we've got Skylight Inn Barbecue, which I have found out they've been making barbecues since the 1940s. And it's yeah. so amazing. Wow. And Kona Ice will be out there for all the... They got a food truck now, Skylight? Yeah. Oh, it's a Sam Jones thing, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. They work together with the food truck. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we've got him coming out. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. it's going to be great. All right, so 5 to 8 tomorrow. Yep, 5 Weather, Prince Plaza. Weather's going to be perfect. Perfect. What time does the band start? Band right starts at, right at 5. Right at 5. Programming's around 6.30. Will Pascal be signing autographs? Should we let him? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm Mark, excited to see them. Uh, so tomorrow <laughs> afternoon, 5 to 8, and it kicks off a great uh, homecoming weekend. All right, Meredith, we'll be there. Great. Thank you. Can't Good wait to see, see you. you. All right, thank you, dear. Good to see you. 851. Let's get a break in. We're coming back with more Talk of the Town. We've got our laugh track again and details about tomorrow's big mayor forum here live on the radio, and we uh, want you to be there tomorrow morning because uh, it's going to be free community breakfast uh, with uh, the folks at 400 St. Andrews. All the details coming up right after this. All 2017 inventory must go here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. This is commercial truck season. Come see our great lineup of Ram commercial vehicles for all your work needs. Check out the Ram 2500, Ram 3500 with cab and chassis, Ram 4500 and 5500. Also Ram Promaster and Ram Promaster City. All 2017 Rams must go during Ram Power Day. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. Some pretty incredible things were born in the Carolinas, like barbecue. Born right here, baby. First to flight. Maybe you've heard of it. Mini golf. Boom. And a few of my favorites, the Panthers and Pepsi. Born in the Carolinas. The touchdown dance. Perfected in the Carolinas. My prescription refills. My son's shot records. My doctor's appointments. My lab results. My parents' care. My chart. Vident My Chart. Vident My Chart is the secure online patient portal that lets you manage your health your way. Visit VidentMyChart.com or call 1 855 MyVident to learn how you can sign up. Welcome in to the new Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Are you ready to drive a little to save a lot? I'm Rod Emery, General Manager at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Come see us here in Washington for the best deal on a new car, truck, or Jeep and a great sales and service experience. Lease a new Ram Crew Cab truck for just $299 a month and only $299 due at signing during our Drive and Discover event. 
We're looking forward to seeing you at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, located on Highway 264 in between Greenville and Washington, or visit us at WashingtonChrysler.com. I'm looking forward to Halloween. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Halloween, too, to be honest with you. <laughs> I was testing the laugh track. I didn't know you had that up. We'll play that for you in a minute. Our laugh, <laughs> our laugh track coming up here on Talk of the Town. It's 8.55. Uh, and, again, Talk of the Town this morning brought to you by University PC Care. That's a name that we know and love here at the station, that's for sure. Uh, Ashton James and his team have been our go-to experts for our computers and our computer issue. We have a lot of them here. We have a lot of computers and uh, there's no one we trust more with our tech stuff. Uh, they got a new location in Newburn. They're coming to Plymouth, and they've got all sorts of stuff there. The area's Apple authorized service provider. So if you got an iPhone or an, a Mac, this is where you go. They also have a new partnership with a company called InMotion, which is an analog to digital media transfer company. You can learn all about them at InMotion, I N Motion NC.com. And, of course, uh, they're still doing their back-to-school tech tune-up on your kids' computers, even though we're already in the mid-October now. If you haven't had that computer checked up, they've got uh, $50 off your service or $50 off a care, play, a care plan maintenance subscription. Go to universitypccare.com. Keep up with everything going on with our friends at University PC Care who have been longtime supporters talk of the town and we appreciate it uh, ashton uh 856 the laugh tracks coming up again i want to tell you about tomorrow's forum we will have the we'll start the district three candidates forum at 705 tomorrow morning at 400 st andrews breakfast will be served and it is free to everyone come on out tomorrow morning we will have the district five candidates at about 7 30 and then at 805 tomorrow morning the uh, mayor's candidates will be interviewed, and again, the people asking the questions will have a media panel consisting of folks from WITN and the Daily Reflector. Uh, I'm just going to moderate, and the questions will all come from the media. So be there tomorrow morning. Uh, we will start things uh, at 7.05. We'll go to 9. The mayor's uh, uh, forum will be from uh, 8.05 to 9. The uh, District 5 race will be from 7.30 to 8.00. And the District 3 race will be from 7.05 to 8.30. So all the candidates have uh, confirmed they'll be there, except uh, one candidate for District 3 has said that he will not be able to be there, and one candidate for district uh, for the mayor's race. But, um, but Calvin Mercer, uh, P.J. Conley, and Ernest Rees will uh, have confirmed that they will attend tomorrow morning. So please come out. And thanks to... Uh, Rochelle and Brian Brown, uh, the breakfast is free tomorrow. Come out, get some coffee, be a part of the festivities, and uh, be involved in the political process here in Pitt County. This is a big election. I, was, uh, I talked about it on NC Spin this weekend. I gave Greenville a little uh, statewide plug this weekend. You've got four open seats on the council, and the mayor's race is open. It's going to be amazing. Uh, but one of the most uh, interesting races that we've ever had in Pitt County. So uh, voting starts today. But if you're not informed, come out, watch the forum tomorrow, be a part of it. Uh, by the way, we will replay it on Cable 7 some uh, next week and all the way through the election day on November 7th. All right, let's do, the, uh, let's do our uh, laugh track this morning, kind of finish things up with a laugh. Uh, our comedian this morning is Godfrey. I'm looking forward to Halloween. Man, I love it because I'm, I'm big now and I can beat up kids and get their candy? What? <laughs> because... <laughs> Because when I was small, I almost died trick-or-treating. I almost died trick-or-treating because I had asthma. And you know your parents buy you that cheap mask? <laughs> the cheap plastic one? You can barely breathe in it. And that, that, that band in the back of your head making you bleed through your skull. <laughs> and you know they can't hear you saying trick-or-treat. <laughs> and how much air did they give us in the mask, that little slot? <laughs> and you stick your tongue through <laughs> And then you would cut your tongue because that was razor sharp. <laughs> and they say it's that razors and the apples. No, it's your mask! <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right, Godfrey, the comedian this morning. All right, that is it for us today. Uh, again, uh, take advantage of eating out today and help the disabled American veterans in Pitt County. 
Again, I just posted that list of restaurants on my Facebook page. You can go to Henry Hinton on Facebook and see the list now. People are responding to that. Some people are sharing it, which is a good thing. I appreciate that. And, um, and it'll help the uh, disabled American veterans here in Pitt County get their new building space. Uh, enjoy this great weather. High temperature, 75 today. Going to be sunshine. Going to be absolutely gorgeous. Love it. So enjoy that. And again, come out and join us. Breakfast is served at 7.05 tomorrow morning at 400 St. Andrews for our election forums. Be there and get informed.